We just heard this story, but I'm going to retell it again. Many, many years ago, there was a bad king. And this bad, king, bad king's name was Nebuchadnezzar. He was really full of himself, and he thought he was the best thing in all the world. And so what he did is he built that large statue up there. You can see a picture of it. It was 90 feet tall, way taller than any man. And he said, whenever we play music, what we want everyone in the country and the city to do is this. Bow down before that big golden statue of the king and worship him as God. And whenever the music was played, you had everybody bow down. But when that music was played, there were only three people that were left standing. Their names were Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. And do you remember, any of you, why was it that these three men refused to bow down to that big idol of the king? Anybody? Yes. That's right, they had a different God, a better God. This was just a statue, a piece of gold and wood and stone. But we have a God that lives forever. And so even though they could get in deep trouble, they trusted that God would protect them and keep them safe. Yes? Exactly. That statue absolutely was not God in any way. And so something then happened. The king had them arrested, and they heated up a giant, giant oven that they called a furnace, and they threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into that fire. And they expected all of them to just burn up and die, but they didn't. What happened next? Anybody remember? Yes. Oh, they would get out soon. They would, yes. That's right. There was an angel sent from God to save them. And when they came out, they didn't even smell like smoke. You sit around a campfire, you don't even go into that fire and you smell like smoke, but they didn't. Not one of the hairs on their head was burned, all because God had kept them safe. We believe in Jesus. Jesus is God himself. He's the one that kept them safe, and he's the one that keeps us safe. We know he lived, and he died, and he came back to life, and now he rules forever, and he watches over us to keep us safe. But there's something Jesus wants us to do for him in this world. It's to tell people about him. It's to always stand up for the truth. And sometimes people won't like when we talk about Jesus. Sometimes people won't see us as their friend, but their enemies. But even when that happens, we can think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who God saved, and know that God will be us, with us even when we testify to that truth of Jesus, the one who loves us as well. Let's say a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, let me never be afraid of anybody, even if they don't like you. Let me always try to live in love and at peace with people. But dear Lord Jesus, help me always to speak the truth. We pray this in your name. Amen.